By the way, if you were wondering if the boat made it the other day, there it is. Apparently they just had to keep jacking it back. I mean, pushing it back with the jack. Now it's nice in line with the runway or the, the boat strip. They just have some quick jobs to do and then they'll be off on their way. I'm happy they made it. So their boat's fine, our boat's fine. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. We love the ocean, so we decided to make it our home by buying a massive wooden schooner, which is unfortunately sinking. A lot of people believe our boat is doomed, but we refuse to settle on that thought, and we are willing to do whatever it takes to bring it back to its former glory. Join us on this refurbishing journey and wish us luck! So, on the previous episode, you watched us building our first plank, and now you're gonna watch us as we install it. You'll see why this is so special. Today is really cold, so we are building a fireplace. So, as the planks are really thick and they're difficult to bend, they put some oil and they burn the oil to soften the plank so they can really manipulate it and make the whole shape. So once a plank is cut, it gets brought to the boat, but the thing is the boat is round, the hull is round, makes sense, but the plank is straight. So the plank has to be made round. So how is that done? With oil and heat, the place where the wood has to bend gets burnt, or at least heated up. The rest can start bending more and more and more, and there's even a jack over there that's going to help jack that plank a bit closer to the well, to the keel and here this is also being tightened bit by bit with the help of these planks pushing that in so the more that gets heated up the more that can tighten and the more the jack can push the plank against the boat So as that gets heated, oh, it gets off. jacked towards the boat over here oh, and wooden wedges get jammed into there. So the pressure maintains over here, while well, that gets softer and softer and the wood starts bending more and more against the boat until it's completely against the ribs. So now the plank is up against the frames, but you can see between the keel and the planks, there's still a small gap and that has to be shut for it to be watertight. They're jamming wedges between the old planks and the new one to push it in the right direction. The further this comes up, the more that gets pushed against the keel. So it's super important, as well as all the others, but the first plank against the keel has to be super well done because let's say there is one millimeter missing or two millimeters missing on this plank and they place three, four, five planks on top of it, all the planks would be slightly too high. So we need to make sure this first plank is put really tightly against the keel and then you only need to focus on one plank at a time to make sure they're right. So this one has to be against really against the keel then the second one above that also against this plank and so on to make as little gaps as possible in between the wood
so he was cutting with the chainsaw so there is now a gap between the first plank and the keel so now they can start working on closing this gap you see yeah so normally you can remove the plank plane it put it back remove the plank plane it, put it back but as clayton is so skillful with the chainsaw both in destroying and building that he can also use a chainsaw to build Aqui vem, esquadra, pronto, é. tá certo, um pouquinho de nada, aí a gente dá a entrada de fio aqui, para o calafeto, que fica pau, entende? Mas é esquadra, essa não, essa foi lá dentro, 5 centímetros, agora cresceu, mas tá bom. Plank is in. Just finished with nails. Uh, drilling and hammering nails in. Goes all the way from here. All the way back there. So the two hardest planks to get in is this one and the one on the other side. This piece of wood has a groove in it. You can see here. So the cut here is at this angle, so like up to here. However, when it gets here, the cut has to be made at the other angle, so it fits along the keel. So this plank was the hardest to make and now also to fit. So now all that needs to be done is the rest of the boat.
the bottom two planks are placed all the ones above are going to be a lot more square if you see the angles a lot more square except for this which is still an awkward part but you can see both of the long ends are a lot more square so these planks from now on are going to be made a lot faster than the first ones and they're going to be put on a lot faster as well because they have to make a lot less of a bend so this is practically just placing against the boat bending a bit and nailing it to it so now the progress should be fast yeah. So here the first plank is in and that angle here against the keel and the boat was the hardest to make. Now that one there is a right angle so now they're just going to be placed on top of each other. Also that one had to make a big turn, all the rest is quite flat. So we were waiting for a very long time to put the next plank up and even finish nailing the previous plank in because the nails weren't arriving. But they are right. All the nails in the area were either longer or the same size but thinner. But most important, we couldn't find any where the tip, the head, was this wide. And this is necessary to keep the wood in place. Okay, so finally they're right. Bada <laughs> So two of the frames were sticking out slightly too much, which meant the plank couldn't bend around them enough and wasn't actually attaching to here. So we're using a smaller plank just to test how much this real plank has to curve. So Zeka just sanded two of the frames back a little bit, just enough, so the plank can make the curve and slot into here. Opa, passou bem. Volta, volta, volta aí. Ó, lá dentro já quase. Isso aqui mesmo, a cunha, filho. A cunha, a cunha, a cunha. Aqui, ó. Isso aqui, isso aqui. Isso. Aí, ó.
one by one now all these old planks are being cut away so the next new plank can be put in here so for now the cuts have been made for now the cuts have been made but these are going to be hit out with the hammer so the new plank can go up against this and so on until the new planks are in so even though the planks can look like they are in place already they still always need to be jammed towards the keel and up against the frames using wedges and jacks and everything so have a look so you got the jacks pushing the planks up against the frames and these wedges wedge it away from the old planks towards the new planks so this gap has to close or as much as possible because the corking still has to go inside it and that's how it will fit nicely
Okay, so let me try and explain this. Each stripe is the middle of frames. So C1, Caverna 1, frame 1. C2, which is frame 2, 3, and so on. So each of these stripes is middle of the frame. What this thing is, is final, which means it's where this, if ever this would come loose of this for any reason, intentionally or unintentionally, it would be able to be made again. And that's the end of where this meets this. What these distances are is it's so you don't need a big piece of wood or a piece of plywood the size of the frame. All you need is this thin one, it saves a lot more wood and it's a lot more portable. So what's done is the distance is measured from this point to where this next frame is and that distance is placed on here so when this plywood is put on the frame that's going to be made in the workshop all you need to do is take the compass again and bring it from the frame onto the new piece of wood uh, on from this plywood onto the real piece of wood so you know the distance from here to there that line can be drawn or this dot can be drawn and so on what the other number is is i think this is a 21 is the distance from this frame to the next frame so even though you're just looking at a thin piece of plywood you can already imagine that this distance the frame comes up to here and from here to the top is 21 centimeters. All, the only thing that's not on here yet is the angle of the plank. Now the angle of the plank here is probably just gonna be 90 as it's gonna be 90 all the way to the rest. So what just happened now? They just finished planing this plank. It's ready to be put in place. But now is the end of the day, so we are going home to rest. But the plank is already there, ready. Tomorrow morning, first thing, we're gonna plank it. Woo! So before we finish this video, we'd just like to thank the new members who have joined us on Patreon, who have joined the crew. So big thanks to John, Mark, Franz, Simon, Jörg, and Kevin. Thank you so much!